Now that we've finished the setup, we're ready to start creating transactions inside of Wave Accounting. Now, as you'll learn in the next few videos, there are several different kinds of transactions that can be created. The simplest of these, and the ones I feel you'll use most often, are going to be the income and expense transactions. So in this first video, let's start with the basics and show you how to create your own income and expense transactions from scratch. To create an income or expense transaction inside of Wave Accounting, we'll want to go to the Transactions menu item on the left-hand bar. So this is the Transactions page, and as you can see, there are several different ways that you can add new income or expense transactions in Wave. You could link your bank account, which I would recommend. We'll show that in just a minute. But in the meantime, to keep things simple, let's just start by creating these transactions manually. So let's go ahead and create a new income transaction. We're going to add income. And as you can see, it creates a one line item on our transactions page. To keep things simple in Wave, most income and expense transactions are simply one line. You can see the dates already filled out for us. So let's add a description. We'll say it's miscellaneous sales for $100. Ooh, 1000 And now we get to select an account or category that we want to assign this income to. For the most part, we're going to always want to use an income account. But you can see that there's also options for expense accounts. Like, for example, if we were reimbursed an expense, we might want to stick it there. Or um, you can also stick it to an asset account. But in this case, we're going to leave it in income. So we're just going to call it product sales. And then the last category account is actually the balance sheet account. So category is your, your income statement account and account is your balance sheet account. So it wants to know what bank account it's coming out of. In this case, um, cash on hand is the one I'm going to use. We'll just say that this was cash. So I took it in and now it's cash on hand. Once you're finished with it, go ahead and verify it by clicking the check mark. And you can see once it saves that that transaction disappears. It doesn't really disappear. It's still there. It's just that we filtered the transaction page for unverified items only. So if I come up and change my filtering to verified, I can see the transaction that I created. Having the verified or unverified filter will become more important to us when we look at loading bank transactions. For right now, we'll just leave this where it stands. And I'll explain it a little bit more once we have the bank transactions brought in. Let's go ahead and create an expense transaction just to show you how those work as well. Again, it's a single line. If you want to see more than just that single line, you can click show details and you get a little bit more information such as the preferred vendor, what currency it's received in, if there were any taxes. Most of the time you may not need to use those fields, which is why they're hidden, but they are definitely available there if you need them. Here we're going to say maybe we bought ink. For the printer, we'll say it was $90 and we're going to put that to office expense. And again, we're going to say we paid that with our cash on hand. Go ahead and select verify. And that is all there is to it to adding income and expense accounts inside of Wave Accounting manually. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to Wave Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other Wave users here on the Accounting Lab.